Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have two hauls today I'm gonna record. One is a Dollarama haul and then the next one is a Dollar Tree. So let's get it going. I didn't buy terribly much at Dollarama. I didn't really see a lot that I needed but some fun things nonetheless. Coffee, it's getting ready to rain here. So let's get started. The first thing I have, I don't actually have it, but it is a table decor. I would tell you, I just paid $19 for this on Amazon, but it holds balloons and you get these plastic pieces and you put the balloons in them. And it's a table decor. So I grabbed that. I used it this weekend at my event that I was at. And then the other thing I picked up is a balloon kit and these are like the balloons you make balloon animals out of and somewhere in this bag oh here it is i got it for this it's a pump to blow up the balloon so we did that okay now next up i grabbed this this is nice it's very heavy compared to like the dollar tree this is mdf board um it is a stand or hangs up but i got it to use for finishing cross stitch at some point i thought i could put something on there to display i can hang it or put it on like a stand but it's nice and solid and this was one dollar and fifty cents canadian which would be about well we at right now it's 73 cents U.S. buys us $1 Canadian, so we get like a 25 cent buffer. So I grabbed that. Um, I picked these up. I've been looking for some small cutting boards. These have bumblebees on them. You get one, two, three, four. So you can use, oh, they're upside down. You can use them from like chicken meat, vegetables, whatever. And they're plastic they're dishwasher I have larger ones but sometimes I just need a little something small and I would like to um take some of them and get rid of them so and I like this too they have a little handle but they're all the same size they're all this big yeah and you get two plain blue and two with bees so you could use like meat produce whatever um or right on with sharpie but yeah so i grabbed a pack of those those were five dollars canadian if you watched my dollar tree haul you saw that i bought this at dollarama it's a pooper scoop for your kitty litter this was it's really windy one dollar 25 cents canadian everything is canadian because they're a canadian store that's how it rolls uh, next thing I picked up was in the food section and these are zipper seal reusable bags for like marinating it looks like we're going to take them out these are pretty decent size could also use them for like storage I guess or like um craft storage or something potentially gonna have to get a trash bag out here Okay, okay. Now what I don't like is they don't have a pleated bottom. So you're kind of limited. If they had a boxed bottom, you could fit more, but they're nice and large. They have a decent seal on them. You get two and they were 250. So I'm gonna use these when I marinate meat or vegetables for the summer for grilling. Um, oh, I picked these up for um, Sarah and her boyfriend. Actually, I opened one. But I picked these up. They like the Aero Bars. Canadian candy is good. Those were $1.25. Um, I grabbed two, two lighters. These were $1.50, but they're for like lighting candles, lighting your grill. These are good if you use a um, chimney for your grill for charcoal. So I just thought these were fun. They have the maple leaf on them. 
and it's fun. So I grabbed those for the summer for grilling. Oh, I gotta pull some things up out of here. I opened a couple things. So in Canada, they are using paper straws, recyclable. I don't love that. So I got some reusable straws. I just used one while I was up there, but these are like washable. You can use them over and over again. So I will, when I go over to Europe this summer, I will bring a couple of these and also put them in my suitcase for the next time I go back to Canada. But you get 25 drinking straws, but these are um, recyclable and washable. So that's nice. I was looking for plastic silverware at the Dollar Tree and all they had are like recyclable stuff, which is nice. I'm not mad about that. Um, usually I get some decent stuff at the craft section, but I had already kind of seen most of it. Um, I'm just getting everything out of here but rubber balloons because I don't really need balloons. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, then I picked these up. There's a set of 12, and I think I need to use these for table mate gifts when I travel over to um, England this summer. And I can make 12 little gifty bags for my table mates. I don't know how many people will be per table, but that's fine. And I like that they're paper and I can just fold them over and seal them shut with little gifts. So I grab these specifically for that. Also in the craft section, I got these little wooden rings, which I think are totes adorable. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I just like them. And they look like big old Cheerios. I don't know how many you get in here. But they were a dollar and 25 cents. So I got those. Um, I grabbed a stasher bag, the brand stasher, which I like. Um, for my lunch, this is silicone reusable storage bag. It is plastic free. And it is the name brand stasher, which is always nice to have. Um, but it's, and it's not a box bottom, but it is wide. So I can hold a decent amount of whatever. And there's a nice firm gripper. Like you could put a sandwich in here and it wouldn't squish it. It does stay stasher on the front and you can put snacks. So probably what I will do is when I travel, I can put some like nuts and snacky thingies in here and just throw them in my purse and it's a good quantity and then I can wash this. But like it holds and you can take the air out like that. And then the last thing I found, which I was super excited for is Nescafe Vanilla. This was $5 Canadian, and it's my instant coffee for the summer. They had vanilla and caramel, but I said, I'll get vanilla, because that's just what I wanted. I don't know. Um, yeah, and I'll use that this summer. I don't think I want to open it all. Oop, it's sealed. I was going to see if I could sniff it, but I can't. Um, we may have this here. I don't know, but it, I always thought it was fun. And... This is not one of them, but yes, it is. See, a lot of a lot of the labels in Canada are in English and French because they are a dual duolingo country. Now, what I really would like to do is remove all the balloons from this bag. So I can put my Canadian stuff back in. Guys, I had so much fun. If you have an opportunity to go to Canada, I just say do it. The people are so genuinely nice. It's like a whole nother world, to be honest with you. And for me, I can make it to Canada if I wanted to go to Windsor, Ontario. I can make it there in like three and a half hours. It's not far from me. And before um, we got casinos here in Ohio, people used to make that drive to go over the border to Windsor and to the casinos. And then I think Detroit got some casinos. So we used to have to drive there. But now we have our own casinos. So there's that. Mm. But that is everything I picked up at the Dollarama. 
So I hope you enjoy and come back or you've already seen my Dollar Tree haul from the Canadian Dollar Trees. And I'm looking down here. I have a lot of stuff from the Dollar Tree. All right. I will be back.